Well, churches have been volunteering their time to send touching letters and care packages to the firefighters battling blazes all across the state. So Lori is live at San Francisco Zion Church in Sacramento with more. Morning. Hey there. Good morning, you guys. I'm feeling all the vibes in this room because since I've walked in, they've played Wham, Earth, Wind & Fire, oh. and Stevie Wonder. So whose playlist is it? Who is it? <laughs> You're the guy. All right. Good playlist. Good Monday morning early work in music because these guys have been working really hard. So this is a Vacaville-based church, and they have members spanning from Elk Grove all the way to the Bay Area. They've been working hard to find ways to give back to the community during COVID, which presents some challenges. You can't quite gather as much as you'd like and show up when you want when things happen. So they've come up with some interesting ways to help, and this morning they're doing that. Michelle, I want to talk to you really quick about the bags you're putting together and the messages you're putting together as well for firefighters. How did this all become a thing for you guys? Yes, um, a lot of our members and seeing all the terrible things that have been happening lately express, you know, concern, but also questions of how can I help? We have a long history where we used to go out there and, you know, donate and volunteer actively with the community. But since we haven't been able to do so, we tried to come up with this more creative way to be able to, you know, socially distance, but still be able to give back. And right now you're focusing on the fires we've been seeing here in California, not just the victims of those fires, but also the firefighters. Yes. Um, for the firefighters, we recently did a big letter writing, car making, and poster making campaign where we wrote, wrote messages of our gratitude and encouragement for those that are on the front lines fighting these fires. And then the bags that you're putting together today are also going to be going back to Vacaville in your community, but also to others as well. Yes, these packages we're putting together this morning are for the families that have been affected by the fires. You know, basic necessities like toiletries as well as some food items to be able to give back in a small way at least. And you're giving back virtually too, which is, you know, right now that's just the way to go for a lot of different reasons. But you guys are helping kids online. Yes, and that's a really exciting opportunity, you know, compared to um, tutoring kids in person. Now we're doing it virtually over on Zoom. We're talking to them about math, English, as well as doing basic art classes and crafts to keep them occupied. Okay, if we have folks watching at home that want to find out how they can help and jump in and get involved in some of these things you're doing, where can they find you? Uh, we have a website that we set up, especially. Um, because in November, early November, we're hosting a blood drive together with the Red Cross. And we want a lot of people to know about it and get involved. And you can find us at cadonate.com. And that's our page set up for donations as more information on the blood and plasma drive. All right, Michelle, thank you so much. Each of these bags here that you're seeing being put together have a personal message attached and all the letters that are being written over there are going to firefighters in the area as well. They'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. And they have some really good tunes to get the job done. Yeah. I bet. Did you request your Maroon 5? <laughs> no. I'm letting this guy play his own playlist. I'm not that bossy, T. I'm not going to make him change his playlist for me. <laughs> All right, thanks, Laura. They, uh, she wouldn't. She wouldn't make them change the music, but I, apparently she's making them uh, help her do her, her Christmas cards. <laughs> Get them all out, you know, before anybody else. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs>